What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Saul Sanchez from PSR Brokerage and today we're checking out our newest listing in the St. Lawrence market area of downtown Toronto. Some quick stats for you on this unit. This is two bedrooms plus two dens, three bathrooms, 1,871 square feet of indoor living space as well as an additional 800 square foot terrace that you're not going to want to miss out on. This unit right now is listed at $2.6 million. Let's take a look inside. All right guys, so let's get started with this tour. Firstly, I wanna show you guys the main living area of this unit, the dining, living, and kitchen combined. And before we get into all the details, I wanna tell you about the layout of this unit. So I already mentioned the square footage of this, and this unit actually has 270 degree views of the city. So you're facing west, north, and east. It takes up the entire end portion of this building, so there's no one directly beside you. So we're gonna start in the living room right here. So here we have it set up staged as more like a sitting slash conversation sort of area. You know, you can sit with your family, have a good time, but you can easily set it up as a, you know, traditional TV and couch sort of setup. We get the limestone flooring throughout this entire great room, nine and a half foot ceilings and beautiful corner views in this living room as well. And it easily transitions over into the outdoor space in this unit, okay? Right beside we have the dining room in this unit. So currently we have this dining room set up with six seats, beautiful chandelier up above. We got this built in with open shelving, lots of storage, recessed lighting, lots of great stuff. And I love the proximity to both these rooms to the kitchen because the kitchen acts as a central hub for everything that's going on in this unit. So it's perfectly situated where you can entertain both indoors with your living room and dining room, but as well as the outdoor space that we're gonna show you in the later, later portion of this video. So let's get into the kitchen now and check it out. So this kitchen is a Scavellini designed kitchen and you're gonna see lots of high-end appliances and details throughout. So the first thing is this beautiful peninsula. The natural stone on this countertop actually does a great job matching with the limestone flooring of this unit. And you can see this little detail right here. These are drainer grooves. So if you wanted to you know, dry some dishes, whatever it is, you don't need any flimsy dryer racks or anything. You can just put it right here, the water will drop and then just slant over into the drain so you don't have to worry about anything like that. So here we have some high-end appliances. This is a Wolf range with the matching Wolf vent. We got six burners on top. We got the same countertop as the Peninsula with a matching backsplash right here. Beautiful sort of burgundy mahogany type of color on the kitchen cabinets, okay. And then we also have a Sub-Zero fridge right here that's absolutely massive. Open it up. And then we got the two freezers down below, okay? So this is a great setup. I love how it's situated in a corner, but it's still overlooking everything else in the unit. And you actually have direct access in your kitchen to the outdoor space. So if you're serving guests, you're bringing out drinks, food, whatever it is, or even just using the barbecue, you have easy access. You don't have to walk around and go through a separate entrance. All right guys, so with that being said, let's take a look at the outdoor space. And before we actually step out, one of the things I really like is that instead of just having traditional sliding doors for a balcony or whatever that you see very often in Toronto, we have proper doors that are on hinges that you can open up and it really does a great job integrating the outdoor with the indoor, very seamless sort of living setup with the entertaining setup as well. So guys, this is the main selling point of this unit. This is 800 square feet of outdoor terrace space. You just don't find something like this in Toronto very often. When people are looking at pictures of this listing online, they look at it and they're like, is this a common area? Is this an amenity of the building? Like, no, this is your private outdoor space, okay? so. This is actually bigger than a lot of condos in Toronto and you have it all to yourself as outdoor space. So, you know, you can do a lot here. Right now they have it set up with a lot of, you know, plants, built-in planters along the edges, but you can easily put a hot tub right here. You have the barbecue set up over there, outdoor dining, outdoor living. Now, the other thing I love with this terrace space is that, you know, usually sometimes you can find a similar outdoor space in Toronto, but the trade-off, the thing that you will not find is the unobstructed views. A lot of times you'll see a terrace, but it'll have a building right in front of it. There's people on their balconies looking in and seeing what you're doing. And a lot of times you don't even feel like you wanna go outside and use your outdoor space because it doesn't feel private. This is completely private, unobstructed views. Nothing is gonna be blocking your view in the coming years as well. You get 270 degree views of Toronto facing north, west, and east. 
you're overlooking the St. Lawrence Market area, and talk about location. Step to St. Lawrence Market, five minutes to Union, five minutes to the Financial District. Go over to Billy Bishop Airport in 10 minutes, Pearson in 25. Lots of great stuff in this area as well. Let's head back inside and see the rest of this unit. So the next thing I wanna show you guys is the living quarters of this unit. And before we actually go there, we're gonna pass through the foyer. There's a lot of storage, double doors into your entry closet right here. You got the console table right here with the mirror on top, beautiful touch. And you'll notice the transition in the flooring. We got the limestone over here and we have the engineered hardwood right here. And this makes it feel a lot more homey, a lot more cozier for the living quarters. So I like how they transition that over. There's storage space throughout here. They're currently using it as a pantry. Okay, secondary bathroom right here, but we're actually gonna start in this secondary bedroom right here, okay? So this is a well-proportioned secondary bedroom. Sometimes in condos, you'll see that the secondary bedroom is very tight and you can't do much with it, but here they have a double bed set up with a nightstand on either side. You can easily fit a queen bed, get rid of one of the nightstands, and you can still have a great space in this room. It overlooks the terrace. You have northern views of Toronto. You got double doors to your closet, which is a very generous amount of storage space. So let's take a look at the primary bedroom in this unit now. So let's walk through. And there's a beautiful bathroom here that we're gonna talk about in just a second. Okay, so this is actually a corner unit bedroom. Has beautiful views of the north and the east side of Toronto. But best of all, I love the greenery that you get lying from your bed. Okay, it makes you feel like you're not even in downtown anymore. And best of all, if the 800 square foot terrace wasn't enough on the other end of this unit, you have a private balcony from the primary suite, which is probably an additional one to 200 square feet. We can pop out here real quick, see how it is. So this is a very special outdoor space to have. Literally right off of the primary bedroom, you have this private space right here that overlooks the eastern views of Toronto. You can see the sun's just glazing down on me. I probably need some sunglasses right now. But this is a very relaxing spot. You can you know, read a book, have some drinks with your partner, whatever it is, have a good time. Let's head back inside and see the rest of the unit. Now, before we leave the primary bedroom, I wanna quickly show you one more feature that I really like in this unit. So instead of having traditional blinds that come from the top or get drawn from the side, we actually have blinds here that get retracted from the bottom up. And the reason for that is for extra privacy, okay? So if you wanted to block out any sort of portion of this window, you can do so, maybe draw it up halfway so no one can see you from the bottom looking up, but at the same time, you still get the natural light from the top. You can still see the skyline of Toronto. So great feature, would highly consider putting that into any unit that you have any sort of privacy concerns with. Let's take a look at the primary ensuite now. All right, so now we're in the primary ensuite, and honestly, this is one of my favorite rooms, even though it's just a bathroom. It's super impressive in terms of the finishes and features of this bathroom, okay? So we have the brown marble on the floors, also running up either side of the walls. We got the floating vanity design, beautiful black glossy finish to the cabinetry right here. Got the wall sconces, we got the rain shower, and also a massive soaking tub right here. You can also see the same sort of privacy screens drawn from the bottom up. And this is perfect if someone is, you know, using your balcony, whatever it is, but you still wanna take a shower, you still wanna do your business. You again, draw it up halfway. They can't see you, but you still get the natural light. You get the sun shining in as you enjoy your tub, shower, whatever it is. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the unit. So as we head out of the primary ensuite and check out the secondary bathroom, I wanna quickly point out the additional storage throughout this unit, nicely tucked away. So let's go into this bathroom right here. So the secondary bathroom is quite spacious. You got three piece with the shower right there. But a cool feature to have as well is that we have pocket doors right here that go right into the wall and it reveals to the laundry room right here. So you got the laundry machine, you got shelving to fold clothes, whatever it is. Nice little area that's tucked away and private instead of just having an open, you know, laundry area with the rest of the unit. Okay, so let's go back on this side as well. Now, another cool feature about this unit is that when the owners initially bought this unit, they actually got it custom designed by the builder. So this unit actually used to be closed off right here. The wall just extended across and that was the unit, but they actually combined two units together to make this Southern wing of this unit. So let's take a look. So right away when we step in, we have two dens side by side. Here we have a little office space. It's perfectly sized to put a, a pretty decent sized desk and you still get an outdoor view while you are working. Now let's step in through here. 
And this is what used to be a separate unit. You can actually see a door leading to the hallway because it was meant to be, looks like a studio sized unit that this would be. Probably have a kitchen right here, but ha now they have the, uh, the wardrobe right here. This is set up currently as a family room, but can easily be used as a separate, you know, bedroom suite altogether. If you have, you know, grandkids that want to stay with you, if you have a caregiver, a nanny, whatever it is, there's a lot of versatility here. Okay, you got the closet space right here. So we got the three piece bathroom. We got a closet space right here from the entry. And what's cool about this space in this unit is that you can actually close it off from the rest of the unit and make it so that whoever's staying here accesses the unit through this door and you have a lot more privacy from the rest of the unit, okay? So let's head back to the other side. So guys, that was the entire tour of this unit. This can all be yours for $2.6 million. Make sure to comment down below and let me know your favorite room, as well as if you think it's worth the price point. For more information about this listing, head to the description box down below and make sure to like and subscribe for more luxury tours in downtown Toronto. See you in the next one.